you decided to go hiking alone. All those days indoors were starting to make you go a little stir-crazy, and even though a thick blanket of fog was creeping in, you knew you just had to get out. The local forest had a nice hiking trail, the kind of place where you could really get lost in your thoughts. But as you trudged through the foggy woods, bordered on all sides by the thickest of towering evergreens, you heard a strange, crackling noise, and then a harsh, modulated whisper hissing out numbers and words with no logical configuration. Must be an old radio, you think, and just keep walking. Just then, you hear a quiet rustling in the trees behind you and then footsteps, even though you would have sworn you were alone. Then it's that crackling again and those nonsense words and numbers. 16, 3, woman, 14, R.I.P. Disgusting. It was like two voices at once saying the same thing at exactly the same time. You feel the hair on the back of your neck bristle, and then you turn and you see it. Your jaw gapes in horror. It's huge, 40 feet tall, rail thin, with mummified skin clinging tight to its bones. You look up hoping to see the creature's face, but there is no face, just two metal sirens grafted to a long pole of flesh. Before you can even scream, its long spindly hands are already wrapping around your face. You've just fallen victim to Siren Head. Like its numerous creepypasta predecessors such as Slender Man, Smile Dog, and The Rake, Siren Head is a kind of online cryptid that has entangled the internet in its web of fear. Despite only first appearing in August of 2018, this frightening faceless monster has become the hub of internet folklore and content creation. It's captured the imagination of thousands, appearing in countless pieces of fan art and even popular indie games. But what exactly is Siren Head? Where did it come from? How did it get so popular and widespread in the first place? And like the best of urban legends, is there a hint of frightening truth behind the fiction? Let's start from the point of inception. Siren Head is the creation of Canadian illustrator and master of horror Trevor Henderson, better known by his online handle of Slimy Swamp Ghost. Henderson is internet horror royalty and is also no stranger to creating horrifying online cryptids. In fact, he's already made a number of other iconic internet boogeymen. These include Cartoon Cat, a terrifying homicidal feline demon, the Smile Room, a toothy nightmare hidden inside an abandoned bowling alley, and the Fetid King, a mysterious and frightening entity able to manipulate technology, just to name a handful. But Siren Head is by far Henderson's most beloved creation. He first appeared in a post on Henderson's Tumblr blog back on August 19, 2018 with this image. In the photo taken at a distance, we see the imposing figure of Siren Head looming over an old abandoned graveyard. And if it wasn't creepy enough for you, the photo came with the following terrifying caption. She was on vacation with her husband, and they were scoping out graveyards on the way, as you do, when she saw it. Rising out of the old cemetery, big as an old macabre telephone pole. Was this some kind of bizarre art piece the authorities hadn't got wise of yet? Even as she stepped out of the car, the megaphones on its head screeched to life. 9, 18, 1, child, 17, remove, vile. A buzzing, doubled voice screamed random words at her. At this point, it jerked into motion, striding down the hill toward her. The tags underneath the picture include the words found footage, perhaps even suggesting some underlying truth to the events depicted here. That's enough to give anyone the willies. After Siren Head made his debut, thousands of people chimed in in response, stating just how scary and captivating they found this strange new creature. Little by little, Henderson began to drip feed more information about this monstrous creature to the public via his Twitter account. Each tweet painted a slightly more detailed picture of the horrifying threat we were dealing with here. In his first Twitter thread on the subject, Henderson stated that Siren Head is the static, physical form of an unfathomable supernatural entity, a being truly beyond the limits of human understanding. For example, it doesn't have eyes, but it can still see. Its teeth, hidden in gaping, fleshy mouths inside the sirens, are biological, but the creature doesn't eat. It uses its similarities to a telephone pole to camouflage itself and hunt humans like an ambush predator. While its siren head can play siren noises, it typically communicates in odd snippets of music or words. It can also record and play back other sounds similar to the sport hunting alien from the Predator and is able to manipulate other noise-emitting devices. In other words, while it might seem at face value like a brainless monster, Siren Head is an intelligent and powerful supernatural force. While it spends large periods of time inactive, it can move scary fast when it needs to, say, for example, when it's chasing you down through the woods. It also tends to avoid major population centers, preferring to stock areas where victims won't have anyone to save them. But as you'll soon find out, that doesn't mean you're any safer tucked away at home in the burbs. In the second tweet about Siren Head, Henderson shared a frightening image of the creature lurking in someone's backyard. 
The caption indicated that Siren Head was responsible for the disappearance of a family of four in their own home. They were gone without a trace, with the neighbors just reporting the patio door being left open in their absence. The quiet suburbs are actually one of Siren Head's favorite hunting grounds, as shown by the next frightening found photo shared. When Siren Head abducted people on the seemingly innocent streets outside their own homes, there were always three commonalities. It was always people walking the side streets on their way home, it was always dark by the time people started wondering where they were, and it was always past the time when the street lights come on. The fact that Siren Head can also perfectly disguise itself as a normal street lamp just adds another dimension of terror to the creature. How can you ever feel safe walking past street lamps in the dark again? Siren Head can appear almost anywhere, dark, secluded, and depopulated, so you can never let your guard down when you're in one of these areas. He's been spotted everywhere from Yellowstone National Park in 2016 to a darkened country lake to the parking lot of an unassuming motel, always causing unexplained paranormal activity and disappearances in his wake. Worse still, for all members of the human race who like living safe, comfortable lives, it's been hinted that Siren Head is part of a far grander and more dangerous picture, almost like a hype man for some other unnamed but presumably far more powerful and dangerous entity. It's also been said that the proper collective noun for a group of Siren Heads is a static, implying that Siren Head may not even be a singular being, but just one member of a whole species of dangerous cryptids. Though Henderson himself has mentioned that he sees Siren Head as more of a manifestation than a simple animal, and it doesn't therefore abide by the same set of physical rules that creatures from our plane of existence are forced to conform to, and because of this the true extent of Siren Head's power is unknowable, especially considering that so many who encounter it don't seem to live to tell the tale. Though, as with any good urban legend, Siren Head's legend didn't end with its creator. Siren Head quickly became a worldwide sensation thanks to an unlikely force, online indie video games. Two video game artifacts featuring Siren Head were made initially, one being a mod for the game Fallout 4 called Whispering Hills and another 5-minute Siren Head game developed by indie game studios Modus Interactive. While neither of these games were an immediate smash hit back in 2018, they found a second life a couple years later after being picked up by a number of prominent YouTubers. From here, Siren Head's popularity exploded to unprecedented levels. He quickly became the subject of countless creepypasta short horror stories the world over, as well as hundreds or even thousands of pieces of fan art. People were also making homemade Siren Head dolls and action figures, Lego sculptures, and even Halloween costumes. Outside the gaming community, Siren Head was becoming the internet equivalent of a household name. The creature had gained its own subreddit, where fans feverishly discuss theories and ideas and share fan-made content. In early 2020, Siren Head also gained a huge boost in popularity from TikTok after user Alex Howard posted a frightening CGI video of Siren Head lumbering across a town in the horizon while sirens blared menacingly. This 10-second clip not only scared the bejesus out of the internet, but was also insanely memeable. Variations of the video were used in everything from making fun of the strange name of Elon Musk's new baby to one particularly creative version where Siren Head dances to South Korean hit Gangnam Style. So let's pump the brakes for a second. You're probably wondering, if Siren Head is just some character made by an online horror artist, what's all the fuss about? It's not like he's real, right? Well, the answer to that question might be a little more complicated than you'd imagine. To fully understand, we need to take a look at one of the most iconic internet urban legends of all time, the Slender Man. This dapper, faceless internet boogeyman was created by Eric Knudsen in 2009 but quickly spun into a phenomenon with a life of its own as you can find out in one of our other videos, how a mean Slender Man became real. The Slender Man's immense popularity quickly made him a fixture of the internet's public consciousness, much like Siren Head. With fan art, costumes, spin-off games, and fan films, the dark ending of the Slender Man saga was a near-fatal stabbing supposedly inspired by the character in 2014, and a pretty lame movie adaptation four years later. Why is all this relevant to Siren Head? Because if you read quite literally any article about him, you're more than likely to see the phrase, the next Slender Man pop up. And this comparison isn't without merit, as both have starkly similar points of origins and trajectories into popularity. The lines between fiction and reality become blurred, and in a metaphorical sense, when enough people believe in an urban legend, 
to them it might as well be real. In a more spooky, mystical, supernatural sense, characters like Siren Head and the Slender Man are often associated with the concept of tulpas, or thought forms. This is the idea in paranormal circles and proponents of Tibetan mysticism that one can quite literally believe a being into autonomous existence through the sheer force of their psychic energy. When you believe in the idea of tulpas, the concept of the internet's collective fear bringing Siren Head to life on some level is a real and tangible concern. Sure, it may seem like a far-fetched concept, but is it any more far-fetched than the idea of being stalked by a 40-foot extra-dimensional zombie with a siren for a head on the way home from work? At the end of the day, regardless of what you believe, it can't be denied that something special and terrifying has been brought into the world with Siren Head. Is Siren Head real? Well, ultimately, he's as real as any urban legend. Whether it's the man with the hook hand, the killer in the backseat, or the man making sinister calls from inside the house, and like any great urban legend, Siren Head is sure to feel a whole lot more real next time you're walking home alone at night and you hear a faint crackle somewhere in the distance. You could swear you saw something move out of the corner of your eye. Check out Russian Sleep Experiment Explained and how a meme Slender Man became real for more on the spookiest corners of the World Wide Web, if of course you're brave enough.